All right. Um, you can be the seller. I'll be the agent. Hello. Hello, Jay. Yes, who's this? Hi, Jay. This is Chase and Jay Miles. How are you today? Good, good. How can I help you? Hey, Jay, I'm just giving you a quick call to see if your home is still for sale. The one on Buena Vista? Yeah, surprisingly, yeah. It's still, still in the market. Okay, awesome. What's what's kind of going on with that, Jay? I, I know that you've probably had it out there for a little bit, right? Yeah, way too long. Have you had any offers, showings? What's it What's it doing? Mm, no offers, still on the market, like I said. Um, and basically had it on the mar market with an agent, but you know, you just couldn't get the job done. So now I'm going to do it myself. Gotcha. And why do you think the the other agent couldn't get it done? What was the, the issue with that? Mm. I don't know. I mean, he was, was cooperating with us, giving us you know a timeline with everything, and uh, but you know just couldn't get an offer in the end. I'm not sure if he just didn't know what he was doing, or maybe it was new or something. But oh, so you think it might be an be an agent situation? Yeah, I think it was okay. an agent situation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How did you find your last agent, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, through a friend referred referred me, friend of the family. Oh, gotcha. So you felt like you had to give them a chance and. All yeah. that stuff, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> definitely happens, definitely happens. Nice guy like like you just wants to help someone out. Mm -hmm. I get it, I get it. Well, Jake, so since you had an agent before, I would imagine you're okay with paying for a realtor commission, right? Well, I mean if you know, if I can pocket more money, put more money in my pocket in the end, you know, just cut out all my ex uh, expenses, then right. I'd rather just do that and sell it myself, you know, especially when I worked with an agent for almost two, three months and couldn't get it done. Yeah. I'm trying to do it myself. I gotcha. How quickly did you want to be out of the house? Uh, like at least a month ago. Then you know, mm. you know, Jaws relocated me to another part of town in Dallas, and you know, I have to drive long distance and bike traffic for about a month now. So I'm just, you know, the quicker the better. Gotcha. And I'm I'm sure you know the market is pretty hot right now, don't you? Yeah, there's just price still on the market. You know, it's probably not sold. Yeah, I understand that. You know, Jay, sometimes it it really takes that agent to to get it sold. And I don't I don't mean just any agent. I don't mean just giving a friend a chance, but the right agent. So what I would like to do, I know that you're trying to sell it on on your own, and that's completely fine. But I would like to show you how my team and I get get home sold because I think that it it's it's going to be quite impressive for you, especially if you're trying. Um, to move to the other part of town and it's it's a you're a month late right now So mm -hmm. how about I come over tomorrow around 3 p.m. Or would like 6 p.m. work better for you? Mm, I don't know. I have to speak to my wife about it. You know, I don't think she wants to go through a whole You know hiring an agent again and going through that process all over, you know So just to just to kind of recap Jay you said that you all are needing to be out of that house mm -hmm. And the reason why it hadn't sold yet was because y'all just had a bad agent, it sounds like, previously. But you're extremely motivated to sell, and we're in a hot market right now. So if I can actually show you and your wife how I can get your home sold quickly, get more money in your pocket so that y'all can move on with your lives, do you think that that's something she'd be opposed to? No, I don't think she'd be opposed to that. But, you know, she's just, you know... With the last agent, he kept reducing the price. We reduced it twice, um, but we, we didn't even get no attraction. Yeah, so. and to be honest with you, Jay, we've already kind of discussed how that last agent wasn't the right agent for the mm -hmm. job. You know, and sometimes it needs a fresh pair of eyes and a fresh plan behind it to really bring it to the forefront to make it shine like it really should shine. Mm -hmm. And my team and I, we've, we've been selling homes for many years all over the Metroplex. And I am confident that when I show you and your wife how we get home sold, it'll all make sense to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. Now, you sound like a very sharp agent, a lot better than the other guy we worked with. But I just don't see how when we reduce it below market value, from, in my opinion, I don't see how it's going to sell this time around with you guys at that price range or a different price range. You well, know, if it would have sold, I feel like it would have sold by now. Absolutely, I definitely understand that. And to be honest with you, Jay, sometimes it's it's not just about price; it's about the approach. And 
you never know. I'm not I'm I'm not talking anything about your your last agent, but your last agent may have not had the best reputation. It could have been anything. But what I what I do know is we have been practicing real estate for several years now and we've definitely ho sold homes all over the Metroplex and there is not a home that I have just let go or just not sold because of our marketing plan. So, Jay, what's what what I want to do? I don't I don't want to kind of keep going around about price and everything because we're not even there yet. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, after I look into things, I may think that we need to raise the price. That may not be the issue. So what I would like to do is I would actually like to see the home. I want to tour the home. And who knows, I may have a buyer for it right now, but I want to come out and see the home and show you and your wife exactly how we get homes sold so that y'all can make a well-informed decision instead of a decision based on what your last agent did. Okay. So how about tomorrow? I'll, I'll, I'll give you all enough time to just kind of settle down. So like, how about tomorrow around six? Uh, well, we usually have dinner at six and we push it to seven. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Seven o'clock definitely works for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have something delivered to your house this evening just to give you some more information about myself and my team. And I will um, see y'all tomorrow at seven. Okay. All right, man. Yeah, we'll give you well. Well, at least we'll come with open mind and yeah. We'll Absolutely, and that's, and, that, and that's all I ask. And so I won't hold you any longer. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow at 7, Jay. All right, sounds good. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. All right, what are your takeaways? I like how uh, like you kept saying like the agent, you know, we didn't call him a bad agent, but you used that, that to not I guess for the site for the seller tonight, keep using him as an example for the other agents for the mm -hmm. next agent. You know, mm -hmm. like just because he had a bad taste with that agent doesn't mean all the other agents are going to be like that. All right. On on, on a conversation like this, is it always I guess like because I did notice the one I guess aspect that you kept on referring was the other agent, like he brought it up. But it's is it a good thing to kind of always bring up past previous agents' performance if they were to bring it up? Let's say for example, if he was to say. He was not communicative, he was not doing a, such a marketing plan that to my expectations. Is it always good to bring that up when you're getting ready to, let's say, for the close? Yeah, so whatever the other person's pain point or frustration or reason why, okay, that's what I'm going to use to sell myself to them. Okay. So he said his reason was because of the last agent. You know, if it would have been a reason of, oh, we're priced too high, or a reason of our location of the property, or a reason of, oh, it's a unique type of property that not a lot of people want, then those are different motivations. But when I asked him why his home hadn't sold, he said, the agent. Mm -hmm. You know, it, he felt strongly that it was because of the agent. So that's what I'm gonna use as my fuel to sell to him. I have to differentiate myself from that agent. So I have to now shape his mind so that I'm not associated with this experience. Mm -hmm. Because that's the experience that him and his wife are hanging on as to the reason why they don't want to hire another agent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And so that can be any situation, you know. It doesn't necessarily have to be an agent type of situation. It can be a location, you know. Well, Mr. Seller, I actually specialize in selling properties that are in awkward locations. I've sold properties that back up against power lines. I've sold properties that back, you know, use whatever their motivation is. Mm -hmm. And the property doesn't necessarily have to be in an awkward location. It could just be awkward for you because I live in the city and this is the suburbs. Oh, the suburbs are awkward, you know, mm -hmm. but I sell in the suburbs. So I'm used to selling in, in awkward places. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be so specific to where oh this property is in a corner down a road with all these trees and it looks scary and you know whatever the case is but feed it to their to their why and to the, whatever is motivating them to want to list for sale by owner okay. now the way that this script is though this script is so general that it can literally work for everyone you notice i wasn't going off of this script but a lot of the things that i brought up were in this script you know, where are you moving to? When do you need to be there? Um, why do you think that it, it prevented it from um, selling? Are you guys paying a commission to a real estate agent? You know, that was that was something that 
we I mean pretty much threw the whole money thing out of the, the question because he said that they wanted to, to save money but they were already okay with paying the commission before so I knew that that wasn't the real reason yeah. you know that's just something he probably read on a blog mm -hmm. as to why he wants to be for sale by owner their real anger was that last agent mm -hmm. Okay. And gotcha. that's what I led with. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. If it was a money situation, a true money situation, I would have gone down the road of, okay, Mr. Teller, how much do you need to net? Mm -hmm. Well, I need to net $50,000. Okay, well, um, based on how I sell properties, I tend to sell them at X amount um, per market value. If I can get you that $50,000 in your pocket, what other hesitations would you have? Nothing. We just want to make sure we have the right amount of money. Okay. Well, let me meet and show you how I can get you that additional fifty thousand dollars by using me as an agent after all of my fees. Okay. So completely different conversation right. based on his motivation. 